Alright guys, this is Fan52, back again. Uh, in the last episode, as Barrett, we cleared out as much of the underground research facility as we can. And uh, met up with Tifa and Cloud along the way. And got Wedge out of there. Uh, in the process, we completed Chapter 13. And we are now moving on to Chapter 14. And starting right back where we began. Or not began, but where we left off. So... Depending on how long. There we go. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <clears throat> Elmira. I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... <sighs> Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Because you only have two bedrooms? Okay, so that bedroom door is open. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. Uh, got nothing. That is a very small fridge. Going out here. meet up with uh, Tifa. Seems like I took the longest possible route around. Can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night? That was from Aerith, wasn't it? I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar. Our home, and everything else. <laughs> they took everything from us, again. Ha <laughs> ha 
You're hurting me. <sighs> it's stupid. I know that crying's a waste of time. That's not true. <clears throat> Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. Are you going? Um, I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? That's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Yay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. She's tougher than me. All right, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, All right. we're supposed to get topside. With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. All right, so we just got a piece of materia. A 
And if I know my Final Fantasy good enough. Yeah. <clears throat> so, this thing, it need to make 5,000 steps. And if I know my Final Fantasy well enough, uh, something's going to happen. So let's just go ahead and equip that and keep it on for the time being and see what happens. to take on um, one of the VR battles against the fat chocobo or maybe not he is gone my fellow grounders listen up because boy do I have some news <sighs> for you and it's assured to knock your soccer bombing way into his one and five what do the eco terrorists do they go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage! The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame! But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth! Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five kill. Five kill. Come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want him. We got him. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five kill apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> No one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. Uh, the collapse of the plate means that many people in the slums are in desperate need of assistance. Once the party enters the Shinra building, they will no longer be able to help anyone in need. Therefore, try to help as many people as possible before entering Shinra HQ. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. So that sounds to me like a last call for side quests. Oh, and we have a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did a plate really fall? World's just too dangerous these days not to keep the weapon at yourself. They did mention the Undercity even once. How far could they have gone? Oh, Cloud! Have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. I'll know. Just stay calm and wait here. Never know. They might come back on their own. Okay? Uh, yes. Of course. Thank you so very much. All 
Alright, so we've got some missing children. I'm assuming that they're going to be down in here somewhere. See anything you like? Hey, steel pincers. A ring that makes the warrior feel as if they're a frog? Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna buy this just because it feels important. I'm gonna buy this because it sounds funny. Seems to be it for right now. Have a merry Moogle day, Koopa. for the real deal. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will, you know? Whacking boxes wasn't training us for anything. So we decided to whack monsters instead. Wow, that sounds like a terrible idea. It is not. We've all put up much better scores than you since we started. So why don't you try beating us before you talk? Let's go. So participation, you get more Moogle medals. Uh, lowest you get an elixir, then a crescent mood charm, and a transference module. All right, so let's go. not gonna work don't tell me you're all talk so let's go ahead and switch back to the iron blade and I don't think it's going to matter but let's go ahead and put deadly dodge on this Let's try that again. If you don't set a new first place record, you're as good as last. Going to ignore the other 1500s down there for now. 
have time when I'm done, I'll come to back to the ring. Should be a good enough score. I forget what score we actually needed though. Let's go ahead and take this guy up. ever top that even if we practiced forever kid if you want to be champion you just got to keep working at it huh find something you enjoy and stick with it put your heart and soul into getting better it's as simple as that okay i'm gonna do just that thanks for the advice cloud i hope you'll give us more later we'll see kid All right. So let's go ahead and uh, get going. Apparently none of the kids that the teacher was looking for was over here. They must be throughout the town. Come on, Cloud. Oh, hey. There he is. He's back. I want to find these kids though. Not gonna make it into work anytime soon, so might as well be. If it's anything like the quest before, they should have uh, Buster Swords on their backs. Yeah. I am not actually seeing any kids like that. Hey, you! Cloud, right? Man, am I glad I caught you. Sam, he told me who you are. Said you're a merc and a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? 
Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? All right. I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, feed them this. There's three missing all told, and their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. Uh, Chocobo carriages will take you to destinations much faster than by foot. Fast travel. Uh, finding missing Chocobos for Sam increases the number of available destinations. Take a ride, check the schedule at the Chocobo station, or talk to the staff. Alright. And it looks like it's actually telling me where the Chocobos are. So let's go ahead and grab those guys. Hey, it's a reporter. Oh, it's you, my good Merc! What brilliant timing you have! Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm a journalist for The Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz? You mean that trash filled with Shinra fluff pieces? Well, yes, that's fair. But we do get a lot of inside information because of our close ties with the company. <laughs> Curious? Here's the scoop. A certain division of Shinra, that shall remain nameless, was planning to seize Corneo's assets. But before they could, the key to his secret vault, within which his misbegotten gains were securely tucked away, was stolen. And my sources tell me that the thief is the Undercity's beloved hero, the Angel of the Slums! The unidentified bandit who's been targeting anyone with ties to Shinra or Corneo. Yes, that Angel of the Slums has struck again! Well, do I have your undivided attention now? Kinda, but hurry it up. We don't have time for a three-act play. Then I'll make this quick. So, my good Merc, you do remember where the Angel's hideout is, right? Do you remember the death threat she left there? Oh, that. I decided to seek the silver lining in this case. If the Angel of the Slums deigns to take an interest in a humble reporter, then that itself would be a story. <sighs> what are you asking? If you recover the stolen key, feel free to help yourself to the contents of Corneo's vault. All I want is knowledge, the identity of the Angel. So if you happen to learn anything of value, I'd be tremendously grateful to you if you passed it along. All right, I mean, we're kind of going there anyway, so. And those must be those doors that I've been trying to get through, but I can't. I'm one of the kids. Hey, Cloud. Hmm. Gotta be one of them lost kids. Lost? Who said we were lost, stupid old man? What'd you say? What are you doing out here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned around, everyone was gone. I was alone. to ice, weak against fire, uh, dispel or dispelling its reflect spells with breach makes it susceptible to stagger. Uh, enemy skill can be learned from this monster. <laughs> Alright, so nobody has breach. <laughs> reload. 
learned an ability now. It's fire, right? Yeah. Don't overdo it. Focus strike. You ready? Keep it up. Why'd you kids come out all this way? This is where our parents are. They're resting, but we wanted to say hi. Sometimes you just want to do that, you know? I do. Thanks so much for coming to find us. That's another one I owe ya. We're gonna head back to the house now. Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried. Hey, Cloud, I found this on the ground. You should take it. I think it might come in handy. Bunch of little smart asses. <laughs> With good hearts. All right, so we just got the time materia. Slow stop and sloga, maybe. Or maybe it's just two. I don't know. Let's take a look. Uh, haste. Slow and stop. Got it. So from what I can tell, haste in this game uh, doesn't necessarily make your attacks faster. But it does increase the rate at which your ATB charges. Hey, there's a chocobo. Is it going to run from us? Wark. What are you? I just realized I forgot Allow to change my weapon back. Uh, it's a rust drake. Uh, while enveloped in darkness, they absorb all spells. However, inflicting a certain amount of damage uh, when they cast gravity will dispel darkness and make them susceptible to stagger for a short while. Alright. Reckless. 
gonna raise a bear. Can you fight? Good luck. Great. Learn from this for next time. All right. Why can't I cast any spells? Oh, because Cloud doesn't have any uh, healing magic equipped for some reason. Well, let's go ahead and talk to this Chocobo and go ahead and uh, return to that bench. Chocobo from up here somewhere. Hey, don't close it. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to get the key to those uh, Corneo stashes. Hello. Like that, okay? I got gotcha. you. Yeah, key to these things. Honestly, kind of surprised that these aren't part of the test yet, at least. Hello, Smogger. Mark, 
brought some friends today, I see. Name's Marae. Cloud and me, we... Well, let's just say we're recent acquaintances. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, if I had to guess. Hunting for Don Corneo's fortune. Now how'd you know about that? <laughs> well, there's nothing I love more than a good rumor. But I decided to fact-check this one myself. Hate to burst your bubble, but it's not here. If the Angel of the Slums got to it first, then I'm guessing that gill is as good as gone. Sounds like a reasonable assumption. But you know, that's not the rumor that's been making the rounds. Humor me real quick. A question. Hypothetically, if you did manage to get your hands on this treasure, what do you think you would do with it? Easy. Make sure the people of Sector 7 had the means to get back on their feet. That's what. We'd use that creep's fortune to better the lives of everyone down here. Hmm. Right. Back to this rumor. Word on the street says the Angel doesn't have the key. If you want the full story, talk to Kyrie. She may be young, but she knows everything about everyone. She's easy to spot, too. Striped stockings, big hat. Girl doesn't exactly fit in. Where is she? Oh, who knows? I'm too old to keep up with kids her age these days. You understand. I do understand. I also see this. Corneo Vault Note. Is. Uh, Merc, here's some clues on where to get Corneo's secret stash. Steel Mountain in Sector 5 slums, the former disposal area in the sewers, the caved in tunnel in the class expressway. Start sniffing around these places, you might uh, like what you find. Good luck. Alright. You won't find anything here, I checked. So I am actually going to put that side quest on hold. I feel like I should make a video on that in and of itself. You again? Don't hold that. Looks to be you. We already know how to handle this guy. Ooh. Wow. That's that. Good job. Whatever, man. Let's go. Let's con continue going this way because I believe there was a chocobo up here that we needed to save. Somewhere. If I was remembering that map correctly. Finally, like, hurt me and like, this upgrade the stuff. Want. I mean, yeah, kind of. They're the ones that actually got us to fight. Not fight me. What are you doing now? You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Chocobo's up here. Okay. Gotcha. Let me handle this. <laughs> and don't come back. Nothing down here. Got a Neko shard. Maybe it was over by the station. Ain't no walk away from this. So you better run. I forgot about these guys. And there you have it. Go 
ahead and uh, head through here. What were you thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Go into a hole and die! Is that Johnny Loudmouth? It was. Oh, Johnny's been hacked. Bro! Tifa! Damn, is it good to see you guys again? I told you to stop calling me that. Bro, I'm in serious need of your expertise. Lend me a hand? Fine. What? Truth is, I'm uh, trying to get out of town for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. But the thing is, <laughs> I got mugged. She took it. Took it all, man. <sighs> I tried to chase her down. I really did. But she was real fast like. Man, what am I going to do? This could be the end for old Johnny boy. I'm begging you, help me out. Come on, bro. What'd she look like? Bro! Uh, hold on. Let me think. I wanna get this right. She was a cutie. Black hair. Pretty sure she was wearing a hat. And, uh, oh yeah, she was wearing these striped stockings, too. Kyrie? Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church, I think. Alright. There is someone playing music over here. Hey there, man. You into music? I screwed up an order of discs, sitting on a mountain of them now. Mind taking at least one off my hands? Well, there we go. Uh, I guess we're heading towards the church. Hey, it's, uh, Kyrie? Kyrie? Whatever her name is. Where the hell does she go? She was literally right there. Is she a ghost? I'd be kind of upset if she's a ghost. Thousand steps of the five thousand. Don't hold back. You got it. That'll do. Oh, yeah. Do you like that? oh yeah, another one in the bag. There's the chocobo. church friend and took every last skill he had. Sound familiar? Oh, that? <laughs> oh, I thought I was in actual trouble. Don't scare me like that. 
Now I remember you. You're that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. Oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I know you, Blondie. You're that merc everyone's talking about. Huh, maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. You've gotta help me. So from them too, did you? No. Well, yes, sorta. It's complicated. How was I supposed to know they were Shinra? And now those jerks won't leave me alone. Even though all I took was some ugly key. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? Wait a minute. That was you? <sighs> oh, great. So everyone's talking about it? <laughs> Is this the end? Am I a dead woman? Do I have to go in the run? Leave Midgar forever and, and never look back? Kyrie, please. Just give us the money you stole from our friend, would you? And the key while you're at it. No way! You're gonna split the second I do! And then who will protect me? I can't handle this on my own! <sighs> we'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Deal? It's a deal! Right about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging out at the Coliseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to stay alive this long. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. Medicinal flowers obtained. Uh, I'm assuming that's going to be important for a side quest. Uh, flowers grown in the church that could be ground up and used in various medicines. Um. So I don't think that there's anything else we need to do back here. But there was a piece of materia that was right here that I grabbed. It was a piece of chakra materia. Uh, the same one that, or well, the same type of materia that uh, Tifa comes stock with when she first comes into the party. Is there anything new in here? Doesn't look like it. So, go on and uh, get out of here. You'll get your key once I know I'm safe. Missing children cleared. Chocobo search. Alright, so I could use this to fast travel, right? Yes, I can. Alright, guys, well, I think that we've. Uh done a lot of killing time in this episode but I think that we've also done a pretty good job of advancing uh, the various side quests uh, so we're going to call it here for today and uh, until the next episode uh, peace out guys and this is Fan52 signing out peace let's go